We are again asking anyone who saw the reads on Monday afternoon, April 18th of 2022, or who has any information related to their disappearance and deaths to contact the Concord Police Department. Investigators urging vigilance and caution in the community while confirming the popular broken ground trail remains open to the public and asking for any surveillance video from the area. If people in that general area have video surveillance, ring doorbell cameras or anything in the like, we'd ask them to, to, to provide it to the Concord Police Department. The Attorney General's office says it's working with state, local and federal agencies on this high profile investigation. The focus is on last Monday in the afternoon. And in addition, and in particular, anyone who was hiking in the Broken Ground Trails on Monday afternoon, uh, in particular on the Marsh Loop Trail, but on any of the trails in that area, is asked to contact the Concord Police Department. In a statement provided exclusively to WMUR, family of Stephen and Wendy Reed say the couple retired in Concord three years ago after three decades of humanitarian and international aid work. Wendy is from West Africa and met the love of her life in Washington, D.C. while studying on an athletic scholarship. A cash reward is being offered for information that leads to arrests. Tipsters can remain anonymous by calling 603 223-3100. Let's bring in now my WMUR colleague Scott Cook for more on what happened today here at the trail. What can you tell us, Scott? Well, Amy, when you and I got out here this morning, there was uh, the trails were open to the public. However, nobody was out here, at least not that we saw. Early this afternoon, Concord police arrived back on scene and they did close down one of the trails here, the Marsh Loop Trail, as they continued their investigation into what happened. It's kind of blown the community away. Plenty of concern from Concord residents who typically walk the broken ground trails and now no longer feel safe. This as police returned to the trails Monday and continued searching for clues, telling News 9 at one point they may be bringing possible witnesses back to the area. I'm not going out on any of the trails. I'm staying in the neighborhoods. Yeah, on the streets. Well, the trails were reopened to the public Sunday. A resident who lives nearby but did not want to be identified says she'll no longer walk there. As a community member, uh, it's concerning that they're saying, oh, there's there are no issues. Don't be afraid, uh, you know, go about your business. And yet they can't tell us the motive behind this tragedy. News 9 walked the trail Monday and looked around the area that police had centered their investigation on this weekend. There were no signs of evidence, no memorials honoring Stephen and Wendy Reed, and nothing to indicate that tragedy had occurred here just days ago. It would be nice to know if, if it was targeted, why. Um, it, you know, it's just not, I don't feel very comfortable with, with the message that the city's sending right now. And News 9 has been reaching out to friends and family, trying to figure out more about Stephen and Wendy Reed and who they were as people. We haven't found out much at this point, aside from an exclusive statement that Stephen Reed's brother issued to News 9 just last night. Live in Concord tonight, Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.